At this point, we all understand that social distancing and isolation are required to flatten the curve, but that doesn't mean it is easy. Here with strategies to cope during this time of disruption is co-founder of the Chopra Addiction and Wellness Center with Dr. Deepak Chopra, Nirmala Raniga. Nirmala, let's get right to some of these strategies. And you say first and foremost, you have to have a restful sleep. Absolutely. Good morning to you. When we don't get enough sleep, our bodies actually, our immune system gets compromised with currently what's happening with anxiety and stress. Um, we are not getting enough sleep. We are worried. Uh, we may be watching a lot of, uh, we want information. So watching news and it's all very disruptive. So having a routine each day, sleeping and waking up at the same time, it's just like when you're going to work with social, uh, with social isolation, physical isolation, we are at home. So our routine is all disrupted. I think it's very important to stay at, to a routine, going to bed at the same time, waking up at the same time, and sort of continuing in that cycle so that we continue to maintain our immune system. When your immune system is compromised, that's when you get sick, you get depressed, anxiety is increased. That is so important. You're right, a restful night's sleep. Uh, let me ask you, too, about uh, mindfulness and meditation, particularly during these uh, troubled times. Just how important is that, and how can people go about it? Well, average human being has a 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day. And when we get anxious, it goes up to 120,000. And so imagine current times, the anxiety of um, all of us, um, not sure, how are we going to pay our bills? Um, just all these things is driving people crazy, staying at home, a lot going on. This is the perfect opportunity for all of us to start practicing mindfulness and meditation. We don't have to sit hours at a day, even though we do have time. But even if we took 10 minutes at a time, just sitting down with mindfulness is more about our five senses. So everything filters through our um ears uh our eyes uh what we smell what we taste and what we feel and if we just focus on all our senses and be present with what's going here and now then you're not racing or going in the future with meditation there's different forms of meditation there's there's the mantra based meditation there's body scan there's relaxation techniques there's so many in so so many uh, apps out there that actually are guiding us uh, for meditation, and so hopefully people will tune in and try some of these practices. And the whole idea is to show up when you meditate. Also, your immune system gets stronger, so it's very important to start practicing meditation. And I know you also talk about breathing exercises, particularly the alternate nostril breathing. Yes, it's called Nadi Shodna. Nadi means channels. We have in the, the back, we have uh, two channels that um, it's connected to the brain. The whole idea around alternate nostril breathing is it balances the right and the left side of the brain. And it's a very simple practice. It's a, a sitting down and, um, you know, I would invite if, um, you know, you are, want to join with me or the the audience, it's not complicated. And I'll keep it very simple. The yoga and the yogis would do it a very specific way, but just because there's a lot of people watching, we'll keep it simple. The whole idea is I'll show you my um, fingers. So the, if you can close your uh, right nose and then you're breathing through your left, so inhale through your left and then closing your left and exhaling through the right. And if it's too complicated, it's just very simple, just breathing in through your left, closing and releasing. Inhale. I think I'm gonna have to work on this, guys. Yes, gonna, and it's, it's a practice, I, it's a practice. <laughs> Nirmala, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in contact with you because I gotta work on that. I gotta, I gotta work on my coordination there. Thank you for some of those tips, some great strategies there. Nirmala, Raniga, thank you so much.